Hey, what's going on, guys? We're going to be casting this game between the Lightning Count in the blue at 12.54 versus our player in the red, Sharban, in the red at 12.48. So, uh, let's see what, uh, we, uh, play against today. And, uh, it looks like our player in the red decides to set a monster in two back row. Um, our player in the blue is going to blind space one card and hits Torrential Tribute. Oh, it looks like our player in the blue is playing, uh, E-Heroes. Which is a quite good deck, actually. It does destroy Insectors and uh, Windups if they happen to have Hero Blast and there's Gemini Sparks. Oh, it looks like our player in the red is playing Infernities. And so there's been a little bit of support for Infernities. Um, there's that one new uh, Synchro card, and it is quite good. Oh, we got that black screen again. <laughs> Alright, so, um, let's see. Because an Infirm player basically is just going to set a whole bunch of stuff until he has his play. And then um, I think our player will activate Gemini Spark and ruin all his plays. Ooh, what's what that? Mask change? Ice Edge. Now, I don't understand why people play this card. I really don't think it's that great. Um, I know you can discard a card and uh, it puts him in the you know grave. So essentially you can put more cards in the grave for absolute zero uh, if you want to do that. But let's see what he uh, does go for. Gonna summon Ice Edge. Um, so he's going to uh, discard a card so it can attack directly. Uh, I mean, it is kind of okay with Hero Blast, I'll admit. But um, let's see what he goes for. He's gonna attack directly, and then he gets destroyed. Oh, Mirror Force on that poor Ice Ice Edge over there. Um, It's going to be the end of his turn. See, now he discarded a card for Ice Edge, um, and now he's kind of in a position where he really needs to have Hero Blast. Otherwise, um, it's not going to end very well for a Boar Elemental Hero player. Um, let's see what he does. If Ice Edge was a tuner, it would be he would be amazing. But unfortunately, I don't think there is any Elemental Heroes that are tuners. Um, so he's going to summon uh, Avenger here. That's what he goes for. I mean, he, he could synchro up if he wishes to. Um, but I don't think that'll happen. I, oh, no, it's happening. I'm going to go for Because usually you want to keep Necromancer uh, on the field just because it has 2,000 defense, and E Heroes don't have very good answers to that. Um, and so it didn't look like he had a Hero Blast, otherwise, he probably would have activated it uh, as soon as Avenger was summoned. Uh, the e hero player can get over stars relatively easy. It's no task. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. I wonder <laughs> if he's going to go for absolute zero. Um, if he does happen to be able to summon Ice Edge, he can then attack over Stardust, and that would be very good. Um, oh, he's going for the Shining, okay. Which is a pretty good option, too. Um, unfortunately, you can't really mask change him. But uh, he will be able to get over Stardust. Um, or not. I, don't, I mean, some Infernity players do still do play Deep Prison just because they need more cards to set. Oh, it looks like it's going to be able to go through. And then... See, now our Infernity player is kind of uh, behind now because he has no field presence. And, uh, those cards in his hand might be uh, monsters there. Otherwise, he'd probably set them because that's kind of what Infernity likes to do. Another Ice Edge. He's going to attack directly. Let's find out. Uh, although I don't think that the back row is something like to be worried about because, uh, you know, um, it, if he hasn't activated it now when he summoned Shining, I don't think it's a very good answer. Uh, so let's see. Let's get to destroy a card. Oh, Inferny Barrier. Yeah. So yeah, it, w it was a card that he couldn't use. Um, because if it was, he would have used it earlier on the Shining to protect Stardust. So let's see if our Inferno player can come out of this. He is two cards down, essentially, right here. Um, so I'm just going to end his turn. Perhaps he can't do anything. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't really want to set cards, um, obviously, if he can't protect them. Uh, just because Ice Edge will then blow him up. And uh, our blue player is likely going to go for Stratos, 
Oh, no, he has alias, okay. That's really strange. I expected to see Stratos. <laughs> uh, I mean, if he had Stratos in his hand, he should have summoned it. Um, so he does not have Stratos. Or I mean, he doesn't run Stratos. <laughs> Perhaps, and uh, it's not the greatest thing to not play Stratos. Um, and he'll be able to survive for one more turn after this attack, essentially. And uh, things like even Dark Hole isn't that great because he gets to add both of those cards back. Oh, he's gonna mask change. Um, which is a quick play, and uh, can you just do that? <laughs> oh, that is interesting. I didn't know you could just do it and get a 24 attacker. Wow, that's kind of cool. I was expecting Mass Hero Acid to come out with absolute zero, but uh, no joke, okay. So I can see Ice Edge not being that bad now, just because if you can just go from a one card to a 24 attacker, that's a quick play. That's not that bad, because you can use Ice Edge to clear the back row, and if they have no back row, you just go, okay, activate Mass Hero Vapor uh, by using uh, Mass Hero. So that was interesting. I haven't really seen a, a, a Mass Changed Hero deck, especially one that doesn't play Stratos, or perhaps he just didn't want to use Stratos yet. Um, because he wanted to use its effect to blow up the uh, back row. I don't know. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. HNI's White Dragon, signing out.